In this video, I'm going to show you how to graph lines using the uh, slope and the y-intercept. So before we get to that, let me show you the uh, y-intercept form of a line. <clears throat> when you write a line in the form of y equals mx plus b, where m and, a and b are constants, this is actually called the slope-intercept form of a line. And m the number m actually represents the slope of the line, <clears throat> and b uh, is the y-intercept, which represents the point 0b on the, on the uh, coordinate axis. Okay, so just a couple of quick examples here. So if you were to write a line in this form here, y equals minus 5x plus 4, then that would tell you that the slope would be negative 5, since that's the coefficient of x and the y-intercept would be 4. If you had 3 halves times x minus 2 thirds, then the slope would be 3 halves, and the y-intercept would be negative 2 thirds. Okay, so how can we apply this to graphing lines? Well, the trick is to always plot the y-intercept first. So if you look at this example here, you'll see that I've got it written in the appropriate form for you. It's already in the slope-intercept form. So from this, I can tell that since the coefficient of x is negative 3 halves, I know that the slope is negative 3 halves. Now, I can think of negative 3 halves <coughs> two ways. I can think of it as negative 3 over positive 2, or I could think of it as positive 3 over negative 2. But we'll get to that in a minute. And we also know that the constant 4 is the y-intercept. So the first thing you should do is plot the point of the y-intercept. And let me show you that. So if you'll notice here, I first plotted the point 0, 4. And now note that the slope here is negative 3 halves. I'm going to write it as negative 3 over 2. Well, remember that slope is rise over run. So to get another point on the graph, all I have to do is rise negative 3. So that means go down 3 units. So I'll go down 1 unit, 2 unit, 3 units, and then I'm going to run 2 units. 1 unit, 2 units here. And then that will give me this point right here. Now, really, I could go ahead and just draw the line through those two points, but let's go ahead and find another point. I could go down another three units and run two units, but let's, let's say you, you read the slope as three over negative two instead of negative three over two. Okay, well, we can do that too. Start with our y-intercept, and this time go up, one, go up one unit, two units, three units, and then since the denominator is negative two, go to the left two, and we get a point right here, and that point is right there, and then we can just draw the line through the points. And so if you connect the dots here, then you get that line, y equal minus 3 halves x plus 4. Now if the line's written in this form, 2x minus 5y equal 10, you can still graph it using the slope and the y-intercept, but what you have to do is you have to solve this equation for y. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to uh, take this 2x and I'm going to move it to the, from the left to the right side of the equation. And then that will leave me with minus 5y on the left. And then moving it to the right gives me minus 2x with the plus 10. And then if you divide everything by negative 5, so if you divide this by negative 5, that will give you y. And then if you divide negative 2 by negative 5, you'll get positive 2 fifths. And if you divide 10 by negative 5, you'll get negative 2. So in this example, my um, slope is positive 2 fifths, and my y-intercept is negative 2, or the point 0, negative 2. So on this one, I'm going to plot the uh, y-intercept here. As you can see here is the point 0, negative 2. And then I have the slope is two-fifths. So that means I can start here, and then if I rise two units, so go up one, go up two, and then go over five, that's two units, three units, four units, five units, 
I get a point here, which is actually the point 5, 0. And then all I have to do is connect them. So again, if you have only, if you just have two points, as long as you have two unique points, you can uh, draw the line through them. And so the line would look like this. Okay. So that's how you graph um, lines using the uh, slope and the y-intercept. And that's all this video is going to show you.